being a parent was not um, an experience that I actually look forward to. That's my truth. I knew that I was um, messed up just like every, most people that are born into this room. I knew that it, um, I had some things inside of me that were not worked out, hadn't been worked out yet by the time that I started having sex and possibly could procreate. I knew that I didn't want to be a parent because of my mental and I didn't want to bring another being here with a messed up mental that who had no one who didn't have anyone in their world to give them guidance about how to make your heart light. So I was never excited about becoming a parent at all, at all. And I have three sons. Um, yesterday, I was talking with Xavier, who's my oldest. He's 18. And he was asking me about being invested. Is it okay for him to be halfway invested? in situationships that he get in and i was kind of explaining to him that you know um you know love is the truest love is the only true thing that's here and anything else outside of that is something that we create um for various different reasons um with the emotion should i say and my thing is right now how i feel about that is you know, when we are not fully invested in a situation, we deny ourselves to experience love, which is something that the creator is, is love. We are love. We are love. We are love. This energy is love. That's what I feel anyway. But comes towards the end of the conversation, he said, um, you've given me a lot of great things, mom. You giving me a lot, a lot of great things. You giving me a lot of great things, and that made my heart smile. I felt my heart smiling. My ego had nothing to do with this at all. My heart was smiling when he said that, and I remember that it took me to a conversation one day last week when I was taking Brian to school and we were talking, and um. When I popped back into the conversation, I realized that I had beat myself down so bad about being this horrible, horrible parent that um, I wasn't. My ego had me convinced I was this horrible parent. And in that particular morning, it was something that Brian said to me that made me realize that I've been teaching my sons about being tapped into their spirit way longer than what I had imagined. Um, that showed me that I have blackouts in my life um, as far as being their parent and years of their life, I'm completely voided of, even though I was there with them every day. Um, that my my inner man was doing the job. My inner man was having the conversations. Times where my flesh missed out and I have no recollection of teaching them X, Y, Z. I was still there doing the teaching, but I had checked out because I was so unhappy happy about the fact of being a parent that and just knew that I would mess them up so bad but this thing that makes me blink my eyes every day that breathes for me every day that speaks that makes me move and do all of this it took over it took my biggest fear put me in the corner, put my flesh in the corner, and it did everything it needed to do. Um, and as I sit down and talk with these kids, more and more, you know, I'm seeing that, baby girl, you didn't drop the ball. You probably thought you dropped the ball, but there was someone else dribbling it. Um, and just with talking with my sons over the last two weeks and really, over these last couple of years, man, I've dropped jewels in, in, into them that I didn't even know what I was doing. One of Brian's and our biggest um, arguments have always been that, you know, 
<laughs> I remember telling him and getting him ready for school when he was little one time. And I told him, you know, don't ever let anybody change you from who you are. I love the fact that you are who you are. Don't ever let nobody stop you from being you. I always fight to be you. And when he was in his doing his thing at the schoolhouse in elementary school, he's in middle school now. Um, just doing his thing, giving people the blues, man. Just being disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? In truth, being disrespectful. One day he told me, you you always said to be myself. You always said to be myself. And if anybody try to make me not be myself, I had to fight them to be myself. And I, I'm just fighting to be myself. And you know, that that hit like a ton of bricks. But that was his truth. And me trying to get him to change who he was was also showing my child that mama not up for what she say. She's not up for what she say. And he did not like that about me. What I see in him is that um, his lesson between he and I is to make me stand my truth, even if it's up to him, because we just, <laughs> we so much alike, we clash like this. But um, he's going to make sure that he comes into his wholeness by any means necessary. Nobody's going to stop him that. He's going to make sure that I remember what I implanted in him consciously or of unconsciously. He's going to make me remember. And all of my boys, they really do sit back and they come back and they say little things that I've taught them as kids. And I'm just so clueless to. There's a thing where I hear people speak about remote channeling and just how the body operates on remote. You know what I'm saying? The spirit takes over and does things. I've been in my car mo many moments and I come back to and I'm driving, which is one reason that Spears keeps telling me to stop, stay out the car, stop driving, stop driving, stop driving, because I have too many moments where I black out and my spirit does the driving for me. Um, but, you know, I'm just, just was kind of sitting here reflecting, reflecting and, and getting the the idea out of my head that you are this horrible mother. You were this horrible mother because when I sit down and talk to them, um, it's like, that ain't true. What you was looking at? <laughs> what you was looking at? Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here reflecting and thinking about that, you know. Sometimes those black eyes, we still here, but spirit is the one that's doing the driving. <laughs>